This video is going to be showing you the requirements for lost and found, which is to collect all 40 lost kids for beans. The kids are all kittens and they are all hidden in trees, under rocks, and a couple other various places on the surface area. None of them are found in caves or inside wielder temples. There's none in wielder trials, but there's a few that are right outside the areas of the wielder trials. This is the, uh, the kid tracker that you get from Pepper. And this is exactly, um, this is how many kids are in the world at the beginning. So if you start using this tracker before you find a single kid, this is the numbers you're going to see on the, on the tracker. If you want to know how to get that tracker, please refer to the postal service and such great heights video because uh, one of the first things you do as you are delivering the mail for artichoke the post the post service general whatever they're called um, I don't know how he's like an aardvark or whatever or no he's a wild boar when you've started to deliver the mail for him you'll deliver something to pepper and pepper will meet beans and they will work together to find some of the, the lost kittens and you can help in that pursuit and then you will get that tracker. So right now we're gonna show you, and we're already on our way here, where I found the lost kids for the Kitten Caboodle Trophy. That's the second one there in Supper Woods. I would refer you to that video as well because uh, once you collect them, you can no longer collect them again and I figured why rehash the same the same content you can go and watch that one if you want to know where they were but these are the locations i'm showing you of the four kids that i found for the kitten caboodle trophy and then i'm gonna afterwards show you the the one kid that's hidden in a tree right behind bean's house this is basil here Basil's garden and that's where the fourth kid was and we're gonna head back to Bean's house and right behind Bean's house hidden in a tree I make a couple wrong turns here hidden behind a tree or hidden in a tree right there that's the fifth kid so that's actually not in either this video or in the kitten caboodle um, video so I wanted to just make special special uh, comment to point that out. So now that we have those five shown, we're going to, from here on out, we're going to uh, capture them on, on video. And you'll see me move from location to location. We're going to, this obviously is sped up to double time and we're using fast travel. Another video I would refer you to if you don't know how to fast travel in this game, check out my video for fast travel. It's uh, really easy to do. You go to dinners, you get your picture taken, you fill out some information, and then you get this transit pass and you can move from bench to bench throughout the map. So we're gonna start picking up actual kittens here. Here's the first one. So we're kind of going bottom left of the screen. And then I believe we go, yeah, I think we're gonna go bottom to top and then move um, towards the right, towards the, uh, the east. So we'll start at the bottom, go to the top, we'll probably work our way back down and we'll keep moving right. So I'm going to let this uh, go for a while. I will come back on in a little bit to uh, to make some more comments when I feel that they are necessary. But you'll be able to see me collect all of them. Again, this was done in double time because um, I did want to show the whole route that I took to find everything. So that if you were, uh, if you were following along, you could at least get a, uh, a quick glimpse of everywhere you need to go. 
the top left side of the screen is slightly blocked. Um, that's because there is a watermark that is put on there from the game when you capture it directly on the PS4. So I have that covered up with a sticker, um, which I'm using to to show uh, to label which numbered lost kid we're on. And at times it will be blank because there are a few times where it takes uh, a few minutes to get from one to the next collectible. So I will come back later when there's something uh, worth talking about. Until then, keep watching and you'll see where uh, all 40 of the lost kids are. One more thing I want to mention. This um, was captured in between the second and third wielder trial in the game. So basically chapter, I want to say seven or eight, because I think there's 10 chapters altogether and each trial is its own chapter and you can pick whichever wielder trial you want to do first, second, third, and fourth. Um, but I wanted to try to get this done before I finished the game in the event that there was some kind of like, you had to start all over again to, to collect any of the other collectibles. I wasn't sure what was going to happen when I got to the end of it. So instead I, uh, I ran and, and since this is the easiest collectible to get, there's only 40 of them co uh, compared to the junk and outfits, which is like probably over a hundred each. Well, I know there's 230 pieces of decor so that means there's a ton of junk because you use junk to buy decor anyway um i figured this was the easiest one let's get it done before i finish the story so this is after i have all the traversal upgrades basically you can jump you can swim up walls you can swim in water you can paint in water and you can swim through paint. You know, all the all the things that you get in the first um, six chapters. Um, so I suggest you certainly, you can, as I said in other collectible videos, you can go for whatever you come across as you go. But I found it a lot easier to keep track that if you went for one collectible and got all of them all at the same time, um, it made a, it made it a lot easier to figure out where everything was and then go and get it so that you didn't lose track. So if you're going to do that, I suggest you do this at least after chapter six. So you will be able to collect all of the lost kids at that point. But you can wait until the game is complete. You've reached the end. You've re you know you've finished the the uh, the tenth chapter, and you've rolled credits. You will be able to come back, and you'll actually be able to swim up waterfalls, and you'll be able to paint paint um, larger strokes and things like that. So waiting until the end to do any of the collectibles is um is is just as useful. There's nothing wrong with waiting. Um, but again, if if you're going along and you want to collect everything you you see or can find as you're playing, there's nothing wrong with that either. Just, uh, you might you might wanna write it down, especially with these when there's only 40 to collect, it would be a shame to lose track. So just keep that in mind. Um, the, the later in the game that you wait to do any of these collectibles, the easier it's gonna be to, uh, to get all of them all at once.
this is a uh, example of the unfortunate <laughs> placement of the watermark. So there is a kid right in that tree. You can just see the bottom of it. I, I painted it pink and uh, that was number 17, right, uh, right above the swamp area.
So as I mentioned in the beginning, none of the Lost Kids are directly in a Lost, a, uh, a Wielder Trial. This one just happened to be right inside the area where the Wielder Trial happens. And uh, previously as I was going for a Lost Kid up in the, I want to say, north eastern part of the map, um, I accidentally started a Wielder trial by uh, bumping into chicory and talking and uh so here's the kid tracker here's the the final one you can see one and a bunch of zeros so here's the final kid that we're picking up so the trophy is not going to pop until we return back to beans and we're going to see a couple things happen actually so when you have all 40 then you can you can go back to beans throughout your your gameplay if you want to do it in between uh, wielder trials, just make sure you don't talk to Chicory, because that will uh, that'll start it up. I mean, you can walk away from it, but I don't know. I like to do things all at once. So anyway, we're going to talk to Beans, and a couple things are going to happen. Beans and Pepper are going to clean out that big pile of junk that was in the back of, of her house. Of Bean's house and so every time you get five six seven new kids found Beans will have another um, set of decorations to give you and then when you f finally find all 40 Beans will say you know what just take it all so we're gonna take a bunch of these sets when I started this collection I think I had maybe at the most four or five pieces of decoration. And after this, I have about 135, I think. So you're gonna see three trophies pop here. Casual decorator for 25% of the decorations. Serious decorator for 50% of the decorations. So by the time this is over, 135 is more than half of the decorations you need to collect, which I believe it's about 230 altogether and then go inside the house to see all 40 kids found and you're going to get your lost and found trophy hope this helps take care